Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed March 29, 2012. Almost 10.38 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, America stabbed Israel in the back today. March 29, 2012. On this Thursday, America stabbed Israel in the back. And I want to say right now, it's it's 10.38 Birmingham time. No more than 48 hours from the point and the time that our administration told the world Israel's plans against Iran were going to get hit. And you watch it. If you were to go back and add up all the damage, all the funds, all the money, all the lives, everything that it cost America because we do not, look, you don't have to stand by Israel. Just shut your mouth. It's their business. Israel had plans to take out Iran. Israel had, now I don't know if America gave away the country, but I'm not going to give it away just in case they didn't, because this is secondhand information I'm getting, but my source is extremely reliable, and you will know by tonight or tomorrow the whole detail about this, but I want to throw mine out right now and tell you Within 48 hours of the moment that our administration said, look, Israel's got a bunch of uh, F-16s and F-18s and Hornets and A-6s and everything else set up over here ready to hit Iran. Why, America? Why did you open your mouth? It's not our business. It's our business to stand by Israel. You didn't. And now we're going to pay for it. And I believe we're going to pay for it severely. Israel, as you all know, as I've been telling you for months, they're poised to hit Iran. They can't wait. They've got to go. However, God will have a plan because God knows that Israel's plan would be disclosed and uncovered and exposed by America. So God has an alternative plan that America doesn't know about, and we can't say anything. Israel's going to take out Iran's nuclear facilities, period. They're going to do it. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. But the fact that Israel had a deal with a neighboring country of Iran, it was a deal between Israel and that those people. And I'm sure Israel probably paid them a nice, tidy sum of money to use their property, their land, their country, their space as a launching point to go into Iran to take out these sites. But what happens? America blurts it out on national television, national and international, and the world now knows, hey, Iran, you got Israel hiding over in the so-and-so woods over there. They're going to hit you. And Iran's head, where, where, where? So here they go. Well, God knew that America would do this, but it's just like trying to over and over and over to give us the benefit of the doubt. Are we going to stand by Israel, or are we going to finally just shut the door on them and say, we're done with you, we no longer support you? You may as well say it, America. You may as well say it. You've already done it. And when I say America, and I'm targeting this man in the Oval Office, okay? If that man wasn't there, then this, in fact, we would be standing with Israel. Iran 
we would have already taken out their nuclear attempt facilities to create enough material to turn around and shoot right on top of Israel and on top of America. I'm, I'm just telling you, this is flat out wrong. It's horrible. It's evil for America to do this. How in the hell can you prepare an attack and then have some idiot to blurt out to the world, hey, hey, they're over there, they're over there. Well, let me tell you, if Israel can be surrounded by an army and there's a minefield with thousands of mines in it and the Israeli IDF is in that minefield. It is at midnight, and when one guy happens to be out of the tank, he says, oh, my God, we're in the middle of a minefield. Their armies are coming. Israel can't go back. There's a minefield. They can't go forward. There's a minefield. But what happens? All of a sudden, a wind blows thousands, and I mean thousands of mines at a depth of 18 inches, the wind blew all the covering off of the thousands of mines. So Israel is just like putting a red light on each mine. They zigzag through there, and the 67 war was won. Israel otherwise would have been perhaps taken down. So as of Friday in Israel by 9 a.m., and I think that is just mere two hours from now, there is going to be an attempt to invade Israel by two million Muslims. Or, I, you know, I'm, I can't say Muslim. They are Muslim. But two million Islamic radical Muslim. Everybody's not for this. So you have the idea of preparing for this. I believe that God is going to intervene. I believe he's going to do it right there. And I also believe that God's backup plan America doesn't know a damn thing about it. And their plan on taking out Isra Iranian nuclear facilities will go on. It will happen. It will be in time. But as far as America, I think we've already spent over, over a couple of trillion dollars since 1948 by pecking at, tattletelling, and all these things that we do against Israel. But this one, wow, I think this one might be one of the biggest. I think this one is going to hurt America, y'all. Individually, every one of you that hear me say a prayer, say, God, let this judgment pass over me. I don't stand with America's views against Israel. I don't. And I'm and I'm going to pray, I already have, that the judgment will pass over my home and my family, my children, my property. And I urge you to do the same thing because I think we're in trouble. I think we're in big trouble. And one more thing. Wow. I'll tell you about that in a little bit because all of a sudden there is a joint effort of some type of meaning of the minds between Russia and America. Tonight. Just happened tonight. Nobody knows yet. I'll tell you about it as soon as I get all the details. Jody Wolf Exposed.